Good morning or afternoon, depending on when you're seeing this. I hope everyone is doing well today. We're going to start a new drawing based on that story we just heard. I'm having a hard time spelling this morning, so forgive me for that. Um, we're going to start off with a little talk about the elements of art. So please repeat these seven words after me. Line. Shape. Color. Texture. Form. Space. And value. So in the drawing that we're going to work on today, we're going to start with some line. And we're going to use those lines to create some shape. And when we've got our, all of our lines and our shapes created, we'll get some color in there as well. So that brings us to our discussion of our principles of design. Please, if you would, repeat these seven words after me. Balance. Unity. Pattern. Rhythm, movement, emphasis, contrast. So, two of these are going to be important for our drawing today. Emphasis, the main thing in our artwork, the thing that we want people to pay attention to, and pattern. Now, pattern could be lines, it could be shapes, it could be colors, it could be textures, it could be forms. But what makes a pattern a pattern is the fact that it repeats. So let's take a quick second and just take a look at that together. Okay, so if I start with a circle and a triangle, this is not a pattern because it does not repeat. It does not keep going. So to make this into a pattern, I would have to continue in the same order. So where it went circle, triangle, I would repeat that order and go circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. I can do the same thing with line. I can go curve, straight, curve, straight, curve, straight curve straight and in the case of what we are going to be doing we can do it with colors so I could take two colors which is what we're going to be working with today and I can go purple reddish pink Purple, reddish pink, purple, reddish pink. Okay. So that's just a quick little reminder review of patterns and what they are and how we make patterns. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at starting the drawing. Okay, so here we have our blank piece of paper. Now we, we want our paper in front of us in portrait so we want it going up the table in front of us and in the story we heard that young man Nikki he lost something that his grandmother made for him do you might remember what he lost that's right he lost his mitten now a mitten is a kind of glove um, so to draw our mitten we're gonna use our hand as part of it so what we want to do is take our hand and we want to spread our thumb out as far away from the rest of our fingers as we can now when we do this we're not going to trace right beside our hand. We're going to give it kind of a wide gap. And we just want to boom, one big curve, and then we want to curve all the way up. And we're going to curve around all of our other fingers at the same time. When we get back down to the bottom, we can close it up. Now, your mitten might be a little bit smaller than mine. So you might add two mittens, or you might get one of your adults to let you use, make a mitten that would fit their hand. But either way, this is how we create our mitten. 
So the next thing, once we've got the shape made, is we're gonna add some lines. Now, this could be any kind of line that you want. It could be a straight line, it could be a curved line. It could be different kinds of lines. They don't all have to be the same. I'm gonna do the different kinds of lines. But there is one thing that I want us to pay careful attention to when we do this. And that is our lines need to go all the way across. We don't want our lines to stop short. See how that doesn't go all the way across? So I want you guys to help me. I need you to just to yell at your screen if I'm doing it right or wrong. I just I need y'all's help with this. So help me out. So I'm gonna draw a line, I want y'all to tell me if it's correct. Is that line correct? Yes, it is, because it goes all the way across. What about this one? No, you're right, it's not right. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix it on this side, and then I also have to fix it on this side. What about this line? Is that one correct? No way, it's definitely not. It doesn't go all the way across. Awesome! So, once we have our lines made, we're ready to color and to create our pattern. So we wanna pick two colors, and then repeat those colors to create our pattern, which you'll be able to watch me do. I'm just gonna time lapse it up, speed it up a little bit, so as not to use up too much of your time. And there we have our completed mitten. Good luck to you, everyone. I can't wait to see your mittens. I bet they're all gonna look super warm and super cozy. Until next time, my friends, as always, happy arting, guys.